So now in this video, we're gonna look at the passive buzzer. The active buzzer, you just apply a voltage to it and it buzzes. The passive buzzer, you actually need a changing voltage. Usually it's a quickly changing voltage. We have the frequency at pretty low because I have the trim pot set to maximum resistance right there. When I turn it down, you're gonna hear the clicks get a lot faster until they get fast enough to turn into a buzz. So now I turned the power supply off because those clicks would get annoying really quickly. I had it set to five volts, we're not gonna actually uh, look at it. But in any case, when the output's high, the capacitor is charging. It's a 10 microfarad capacitor, and it charges based on however much resistance we put there. We can either go to zero ohms there for 220, or about 10,000, we could set it to for about uh, 10,220. So these aren't perfect, uh, Lee, 10,000, it's probably a little bit more. But uh, you get the main gist. So, in any case, it could be a lot of resistance to charge, a slower uh, charge, so that you get clicks, and uh, these two pins monitor the voltage, and then uh, discharges through the trim pot. So if we just the trim pot to ground. So if we set the trim pot uh, to nothing, it basically instantly discharges. And uh, while it's discharging, though, the output goes low. While it's charging, the output's high. Now we have uh, the trim pot over here, the physical component. Here's uh, one end of the wiper, pin seven, as we saw before. There's the other end of the wiper. And uh, then we have the uh, jumper going from the trim pot to the capacitor there. And also pin six, which is tied to pin two, which monitors the voltage of the capacitor. So a 10 microfarad capacitor, of course, you can change the speed. Uh, lower value components uh, goes quicker, as we saw there when we turned it down. And higher value uh, go longer. So basic A stable 555 stuff that we covered before. Um, but now we're using a variable resistor um, because we're not using one end of the trim pot. That's really about the only difference, but uh, it's pretty uh, simple. Hopefully it makes sense. So we got the output. You can see we have what's called a coupling capacitor there. So what coupling capacitors do? This uh, passive buzzer depends on uh, changing voltages to make its uh, click, but uh, it's really quick with that. But it lets current keep flowing through if you apply power for a period of time. So what the coupling passer does, it lets the current flow uh, briefly. You get that click. The click seems to go faster than what it takes for the capacitor to charge. But the click's done, current flows a little bit. The capacitor gets as charged as it will get. Now without the capacitor, when the output goes low, uh, you get a click still. Um, but with the capacitor, the capacitor has to discharge. So a little bit of current flows, but uh, not much. Um, but it doesn't seem to make any difference when it comes to the sound of the clicks. When I didn't have the capacitor though, I had my power supply set to a maximum of 150 milliamps of current, and I was seeing that um, for brief periods when uh, I slowed down the clicks. So a lot more current was flowing. Um, if I didn't limit the current with the power supply, it actually drops the voltage so you don't get too much current. But if I didn't limit the current, maybe I would have fried something. Um, but in any case, with the capacitor, that eliminates that problem. You just get a brief uh, uh, current flow, the capacitor charges, and it stops that DC current flowing. It eliminates that problem altogether. So I highly recommend it, at least with uh, this circuit. I don't know about all of them, and uh, maybe there's better passive buzzers out there where you don't need that protection. I don't know, but uh, in any case, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. 